We always tell our kids, you can do anything. But do we really mean it? When challenges come their way often, we stand in front of them. Not because they can't take the hit, but because we don't want them to get hurt. In a way, we are saying, you can't do it. These parents, however, aren't likely to be accused of coddling their teenage children. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. High school rodeo is a growing elective in a number of Utah schools and around the nation. The students are required to learn the ropes, as it were, and work with their animals just like the pros. Rodeo dangers are present in every event, but the teens rise to the challenge as they grab the reins and hold on for dear life. Today at the Heber Fairgrounds, the able-bodied students are actually working with some of their handicapped friends to give them the same thrill and feeling of accomplishment that comes with challenging a steer. We get uh, volunteers from the contestants here at the rodeo to come in and work with some special needs kids and show them what we do and give them prizes. It's, been, it's a great thing for our kids and as well as the kids that come and participate. Special needs cowboys are shepherded by the teen rodeo stars up through each event just as though they were competing for a national scholarship. Those scholarships are actually an integral part in keeping the high school rodeo program intact. Like many school sport programs, the payoff for hard work and dedication often comes in the form of a college education. For the parents of the bull riding set, that fact helps offset their own sacrifice. It's hard on us parents as, uh, far, as far as financially goes. We give up other areas so that our children can do this. Um, so you have to really watch your finances, but it's worth it in the end, I think. I, I know where my children are every weekend when we rodeoed. They were with us as a family at high school rodeos. I didn't have to worry. Um, it's cheaper than a lawyer, I decided. <laughs> so I've really enjoyed that as being a parent, watching them grow and mature and, and meeting other people. In our state, we will give away in about an hour over $32,000 plus dollars scholarships to our seniors that are going to be moving on to college as well. Not only do we do that through fundraising and sponsorships, but when they go to the national level, they can also interview and compete for scholarships. Rodeo programs are offered through the Utah High School Rodeo Association and are available at many Utah schools. Other states have similar elective courses for youth who prefer ropes and riding to reading and arithmetic. When we tell our kids they can do anything, the most rewarding part is when they prove us right. That's what the entire high school rodeo program is all about. Whether a special needs youngster or just a teen who needs direction, each participant seems to rise to the occasion. Um, from what I've seen this year as being the um, Utah High School Rodeo Queen Director, I have seen girls come in that they could decide whether or not they wanted a queen or not and they couldn't even look me in the eye or look other adults in the eye and their parents told me this was the best money they ever spent. Their daughters can now hold their head up and walk and they're able to have eye contact. They come in as 12 year olds acting like that and I think that they are um, pretty much can talk to you like an adult now. From the trailhead, I'm Don Dunmore.